I'm Chris Baker, Director of Business Development and Product Management for API. We're here today to talk about our Radian line of laser trackers. Laser trackers are portable laser-based CMMs capable of taking three-dimensional points in space in very large volumes. API's line of laser trackers include the Radian Pro, Plus, and Core. The Radian Core is an ADM-only laser tracker that allows for single point measurements as well as full dynamic scanning capabilities. With any laser tracker setup, it's necessary to find the best location for your stand. You're going to want to find a stable foundation that also makes it possible to obtain most, if not all, of your key features. Stability will always be the primary focus, because you can always relocate your tracker to another setup if necessary. However, an unstable foundation will leave you with unusable data. Once you've determined your location, you will set up your tracker stand. Always ensure all of the adjustable features of your stand are tight. These features will vary depending on the model of stand that you're using. The next step will be putting your tracker on the stand. While the Radian has 640 degrees of horizontal movement, it's best to keep the front of your tracker facing your job. The front of the tracker is the side with the bird bat. This will maximize your accuracy by minimizing the encoders. Once your tracker is on the stand, make sure to tighten the threaded ring until it's snug. Your next step will be to connect the weather station to the Radian. After that, you can remove the lens cap and place it on the Velcro located on the side of the laser tracker. Place your SMR at a slight angle up, facing the tracker in the correct spot on the bird bat. The smallest location is for the 0.5 inch SMR. The 0.875 inch SMR will go in the medium size location, and the largest location is for the 1.5 inch SMR. If you're not running on the internal battery, you will connect your power cable to the Radian and plug it into your power supply prior to turning on your Radian. If you are running on the internal battery, you may skip this step and proceed to turning on your Radian. You'll notice the red and green lights flashing at first. The green light will cease to flash as the red light flashes in a stable pattern. You'll connect the Radian to your computer next. You can either connect via an Ethernet cable or a wireless connection. If you're connecting via the Ethernet, the port is on the back right side of the Radian. Just above the Ethernet port is a wireless antenna connection. Screw in the wireless antenna found in your Radian's case if you wish to connect wirelessly to your computer. If connecting via the Ethernet, you will need to make sure your IP address is properly set on your computer after you connect the other end of the Ethernet cable. Your user manual will assist you with this step if you're not already familiar. Ensure your IP address is set to 192.168.0 and then anything other than 168. I normally use 123. The other fields will auto-populate once you confirm this. If connecting wirelessly, you do not need to address your IP settings as long as it's already set to automatically obtain your IP address. From there, go to your list of available wireless networks and select AP and then the serial number of your tracker. Once you're connected to your Radian and the flashing red light has become stable, you will proceed to your infield calibration software. After connecting the tracker and the calibration software, you will begin with the QVC fold. QVC stands for Quick Volumetric Compensation. This process obtains data from four different locations that meet specified coordinates. The Radian will take front sight back sight data at each of the four locations, then prompt you to the next step. A series of up and down arrows, a stop sign, and a green target will notify you of the proper placement of your SMR. Using your calibration tripod is the easiest way to be able to achieve the necessary positioning of the following four points. The first point will be at zero degrees within a meter radius of the tracker. The second will be at zero degrees outside of the five meters. The third point will be plus 55 degrees and the fourth will be minus 55 degrees. If you've recently performed the four point QVC, and would like to do just a quick calibration, you can use the one point QVC. This is a quicker process that allows you to do a compensation with one point rather than four. The only requirement is that the SMR is placed over two meters from the radian. However, most people would do a distance that is more closely tied to their working volume. In order to ensure your compensations were completed correctly, you can perform the FB check or the front sight back sight check. Once this is complete, you can elect to create a report of your data. I always recommend this because it proves to anyone referencing your subsequent data that you are using properly calibrated equipment. 
After you've completed these steps, you're ready to exit your calibration software and proceed to your third party software of choice. Thanks for watching our video. If you'd like to learn more or schedule a web demo or on site demo of any of our equipment, please reach out to us at apimetrology.com to speak to a real metrologist today.